You are tuned in to NancyOisHipHop.com and it is now time for our featured artist interview with Snook the Rockstar. What's going on, Snook? Before we get into our chat, I just like always, I just want to take a moment to thank you for your time. I know you're a very busy man, so I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I know you've had a very, very busy year, and you are fresh off of double wins, actually. <laughs> One for um, the 2011 South Carolina Music Award for Male Hip Hop Artist of the Year, and then also got Single of the Year with Torica, Grown Women Loving. So how does that feel? It's unbelievable. To be honest with you, like, I look at it like that's my big deal. That's my grand, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just not the show. And you know what's real interesting, Snook? Quite a few artists and producers and other people in the industry in South Carolina who say the South Carolina Music Awards, those wins do not mean anything. What do you say about that? And so you mentioned that it definitely brings attention to your name. Your name is buzzing up here in North Carolina. So what were you doing over the past like six months to get that attention? I mean, honestly, I was just working, you know, put the music out, put the single out, being with DJs. I did a lunch show with a couple of DJs out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I was doing, I was sitting in the here in Columbia, you know, took a couple of DJs out to lunch and everything like that. And just to, you know, get them familiar with the music and everything like that. Rocking with a lot of online sites, a lot of bloggers, such as Nancy, you know, such as she blogging, blogging, you know, the Mike DVD, just rocking with everybody that. Sometimes you might have a situation where this DJ don't rock with you, with this person over here don't rock with you, with this person right here in the middle does. And this person right here in the middle can make you boil out the pot enough for the person to the right to left to rock with you too. But you have to know, you know, that you gotta just keep going regardless of what it is. Like, everybody's not gonna like you. Everybody don't like Lil Wayne. Everybody don't like Drake. So it's just about getting out here and being on your ground at home. Definitely. The last time we spoke, you had just changed your label over over to Lavish Entertainment. So what's new with your business? And you were in the process of building up your label and your brand even more. So can you tell us what's new with Lavish Entertainment? Lavish just making the trade. You know, like I said, we had a couple of situations where you lavish on each other dynasty. So we just made it one brand, Lavish, you know, ran with that. As far as lavish, we have my label date, a lot of lamp that's coming up. About to drop some music real soon. Uh, young Gunner and Greatest, you know, he's about to drop some music real soon. He had the same amount of type of ones last year. He's about to drop something that me and Lamp are about to do a lot of compilations. Lavish Boys, Saga Begins. You can just look out for a lot of different videos, you know, a lot of different, you know what I'm saying, visual on me and the rest of the label. And you can just look for the grind, you know, that's all we do is grind, man. I gotta ask you about this next and if you're not comfortable answering I'm cool with it from a fan perspective between you and Boss G not that you guys were beefing but you guys both had the biggest buzz in Colombia and also in the state so now that Boss G is in a situation right now how do you feel about that whole situation? I'm a 
never find nobody who say, I want to be this person here. Uh, I want to be better than this person. No, I want to be better than Wayne. I want to be better than TV. I want to be better than Kanye. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, as far as the power of the situation affected me, it's making it hard for me and him. And your grown woman loving video, which was shot by World Star Hip Hop, is that how many views is it at right now? Wow, that is amazing. So I don't know too many other art. I think you were the first South Carolina or Carolina artist, period, that I know that shot a video with World Star Hip Hop. So what was that whole experience like? The only experience they came down. Like on the way that they, they stayed to London, you know, they were real professional about everything that they did, so everything that they do, so it kind of taught me, like, you know, to get all my business and not be a procrastinator, you know, keep everything on a tight schedule, but you gotta be here, you gotta be there, there's no, no lobby, you gotta get around and everything like that, you know what I'm saying, they came out, they shot the grown woman loving video, the end of the grown woman loving video, because I shot most of it out in Atlanta, they shot the end of the grown woman loving video, Wednesday, and they came to my crib, shot another video called Cake on a Thursday, Friday, we shot Monday, right, Saturday, I did it a day in my life, I stuck the rock star, they followed me on the best of June, we got to the Power Fest, and Savannah, South Carolina, we got to the bike show, and then back to Columbia, we got to the prom for a number one, and then high school, we got to the prom for, but they came out, and they showed up, and they, they followed me around, they, they, they taught me a little bit, I taught them a little bit, the rest is history. Four million views. I mean, that's pretty major. Not pretty major. That's, that is major on any video. So, do you see yourself working with them again? Oh, yeah, of course. Like I said, we, uh, we shot three videos. So, there's two more left to come. Did you ever see that? We shot by World Star. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Money Right. And a song that I have called King. Did you ever see that? We shot by World Star. They also did like a studio uh, video of me, which is like a freestyle. And like I said, they did the day in the life. So, you're going to see about three or four projects that I worked on specifically with Worldstar. So you can get into the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll take a picture of you And so I want to switch gears up just a little bit and ask you, all right, about some sports because NFL season, the lockout is over. <laughs> <laughs> and NFL season is about to start and a lot of girls are going to uh, have to compete with the second girlfriend of football. So Snook the Rockstar, I want to know who are your two team picks to take it to the Super Bowl this year? I mean, to be honest with you, I think the Eagles are going to do it this year. You know, I think the Eagles are real good, but I'm a West Coast Saunders fan. You know, that's my dude. You know, he would be the UFC. He did play last year. Because, because it's a mess. He could play probably. He's just going to West Coast Saunders. That's my dude. You know, he's from right out there in Durham, North Carolina. You know, he's a hit the pair. I don't know if he's a UFC fan, but, you know, he, he out there in Pittsburgh, but he's still a so I got to rock with the Steelers on behalf of him, but I really think the Eagles are going to do it. You think the Eagles are going to do it. All right, so we, we got it on the record. And when the Super Bowl rolls around in January, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, you yeah, already right know, man. I'm thinking the Eagles are real strong. All right. You, at one point in time, you were working on a mixtape with DJ Scream. So can you tell us when we can expect some new product in the streets? Oh, yeah. Well, right now, the fresh pack is in the streets right now. That's the mixtape that I have out, you know, that was played out before the album. I got about three or four of the weeks teams that's about to come out. One that's about to come out online within like the next two weeks, which is the lavish boy, shock me again with me a lot of Lambo. Then I have the underdog that's about to come out with DJ Sean John, which is the underdog slash the smoke down fire too. I got one called Turn Off the Lights, which is strictly for the ladies, so it's about to come out. You know, it's grinding right there. I had to work on my album at the same time, so Do you go to the studio every day? Every day. So what is it about the work at the uh, going to the studio every day? Like, what does that do for you? It's like a hit list, you know. You're not gonna record a great song every day. You're not gonna record a hit every day. You're not gonna record a single every day. So you gotta record, you know, keep yourself. It's just like exercise. And if you do ten push-ups a day, you can't do twenty. If you do ten push-ups a week, the week after that, you'll be able to do twenty push-ups. The week after that, you'll be able to do forty push-ups. The week after that, you'll be able to do sixty. But it's just about grinding and keeping yourself working and. Much respect to your work at the It's Amazing. I never knew. I mean, I knew you were buzzing heavy, but I didn't know your work ethic was like that. So, 
That's oh, yeah, don't yeah. let it destroy you. I'm in the streets, so I'm on my feet. Like I say, first bag in the streets now. I'm going from five. Got to come and shop with me. This is the first bag in the city, you know? Before you leave, can you, because I know you're on social media, you have a new website, so can you drop like your Facebook, your Twitter, like all your online connects, and also phone number if someone wanted, or email if someone wanted to reach out to you on some business. All right, check it out. You know, my Twitter is at Snook the Rockstar. That's at Snook, that's at O-O-K-D-A-R-O-K-K, that's D-A-R, and my Facebook is Snook the Rockstar. I can't have no more friends right now, but you can't check out my Facebook page. And before you leave, Snook, school is back in at UNC Chapel Hill. The campus is flooded. You know, it's like 25,000 students. So it's a lot of people that are listening out there right now. Is there anything else that you would like the listeners of Chapel Hill and beyond to know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't down all day, every day. Y'all rock out.